Thanks, James. All right, we'll we'll get into it. You know, we'll we'll do it. Oh, oh, hold on. I've got a, I've got a I've got a call coming in. Hello. This. Oh, hi, player unknown. You oh you received the money for the for the circle up north. You it yeah yeah no the oasis one. Yeah yeah, yeah. okay cool cool thanks. <clears throat> anyway, how's it going, Rich? Honestly, I just if you. <laughs> What what used to be that f film with Do what that program with Dom Jolly at the time with I know the stupidly large phone oh, it literally God, was a Nokia ringtone. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm on the train. I'm in the cafeteria. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what were it called? That's all oh, I had in my head. No. That was actually amazing. Well no. done, Lauren. I like it. That's that's yeah, moving to James's level of production. Yeah, I had Quite props. Impressive. I had to very quickly look up a ringtone from the nineties. Ah, oh, dear. If only we we do we do love the weird circles. Oasis is is it's just the holy grail, right? It's like we're just so we don't even know if it exists, and we ain't getting it today. No fun to be had. The fun police have arrived. They've put player unknown back away from the pro. They're like, no, you're not you're not allowed, sir. Get out of the room. You just don't want to be caught fighting off more than you can chew with half your roster. Like, if a full team pulls up to that now, they're, they're pretty much dead. Yes, you might get a point, but if a full roster's knocking at the door, it's going to be answered with full force. Oh, Gemti going down means that Oma can now may have to react. Off string, getting punished, ends continue the battle. IW actually been tagged up from behind, so that could have... Oh, um, whoa, nice. I thought that was... I thought it was Iro. Uh, sorry, I thought it was perfect because it was Iro to get it, but... It'll be Tixu who gets the kill on it in the end. Um, the one thing I want to highlight there, though, is that Omicron are having quite a rough day so far. They've lost out. There is a recovery on Gemti, but an early knock. Last game was really bad. I think they were the first team down potentially. Uh, Shift W and Liquid, though. That's something to keep our eyes on. And as Jeems does find Kill Yukai pretty comfy. Maybe he was just scouting out, seeing if this was available. Another team will just take residency in whatever amount of territory you leave behind. First pull up because there's nowhere else to go. And it's the bystanders. One player initially falls, the rest of them could be folding in. Oh, bloody hell. That control from Beamy was really good for the first. But examples right there. Tornado Energy are in, in bother wow. because Alio is down. But they've done very well there to keep that clean. Yeah, losing Alio, you know. Not ideal, obviously, but he'll be back up and fine to go. I don't know what his helmet and what have you is looking like, but he should be okay. Nicely handled by Tornado Energy. But while all of this happens, I see Northern Lights getting curious. TSM is actually smelling this one out. I'm a big fan. While Ira and Miracle sit back and just defend that compound, the only issue is now the circle has horribly, horribly hard shifted away from them. So once they, if they overstay their welcome, they're then put out of position and put into a bad spot. You can't really win in this. I feel a bit sorry for them. They're trying to set something up and get some frags, and Circle says, well, you know, your best plans, stuff it. Where are Ents heading? Because they're in the vehicles going through Omicron and the Wildcats. If they make it through that without losing a player, it would be very surprising. Oh, they're all on bikes. It's the bike gang. And, uh, eesh, squeaky down. How do they make it? What have they got? Not much, bloody hell. Just a shack. That's that's your lot. Shacks, bikes, and barrels. That's that's your life at the moment. Igri has made it. It's not comfy though, is it? Shift W gonna use this as a springboard moment to push up themselves. Lovely little ditch to be found. And uh, Navi. Oh, I say Navi, it's Senya on the go. He's got a buddy on the back, but not going to be looking so likely until he gets to the support of the others, and he's done just that. So for now, so good. TSM, though, going to be pulling up towards us, and Orange and Na'Vi, uh, Senya, the IGL, of course, going to be meeting this. I can have level 3 gear. He's got the big boy gun in hand, so he'll be able to do some damage on the way out, or maybe not whatsoever, because he's down. TSM are having a field day. Adepts have turned up at the wrong time. Welcome to the party. Absolutely. Slap, bang, wallop, dead and done. That is just uh, a massacre over towards the north edge of the circle. And it's TSM who just basically get away with murder. Two teams down, plenty of frags in the bag. And they will continue onwards. The smokes are already been pre-thrown by Raise Your Edge. They know they've got a lot of work to do. I'm going to fall through this hopefully cleanly and quietly as Tixu tries to get a free frag. Diggory helps him out. Do manage to knock one off the back of the vehicle so maybe they can pick up some points while they're out on transition. 
They need as many as they can get up at the top if they want to try and withstand winning this whole thing. Be a nice remembrance to the PEL 1 championship stage. They took home the trophy. Since then, it's been a little, it was a little bit downhill, but since then, it's actually been uphill. This is the, uh, we, we spoke about ends and their return to greatness. And honestly, I'd say for the last, I mean, especially this tournament, we're really starting to see the best of these players. Truly are. Coming alive here. Fex doing well towards a deer, but he's got to do more. He's low HP. He's holding the cross. Well played by TSM. Wow. Razor Edge, say goodnight. She created, still on it, and win streak on the receiving end. No way in. Kemba has managed to slip through the cracks, but very much alone now. Not feeling so brave in this. Now let's kind of take stock of where we are, because most of the teams have shuffled in here. The East is still a bit volatile. Kemba could die if Paige sees them. The Wildcats go and um, There you go. Uh, Phase South, Liquid South. Northern Lights, West. Tornado G North, TSM North. And then the East is everyone else. So the East is very compact of players. So I wouldn't be surprised seeing all of these teams losing like this. I want to see eventually how many kills TSM actually have. They've been on a bit of a farming session over by the north, but I don't know if any of those have actually been transitioned into kills. Omicron scrapping together whatever they can between a, between a, a rock and a hard place and a, and a bush just to top it all off. Maybe he'll try and stack the vehicle best he can to give him some kind of defense for the rest of Team Liquid. At the moment, there's just so little hard cover. You got to try and build yourself something, build a pathway into this one. Fears have actually took the eye off the ball for all but a moment, and this allowed Liquid to start moving. They've allowed Ibby and Jeems to start moving. The rest, the other two I'm a little worried about, but let's focus on Shift W holding back the Wildcats for now. Shift W do have the circle, of course, so they don't have the pressure on them. It's the Wildcats who have to deal with it, and it's breaks the code to try and take the initial contact. Swings out, gets the tag on to, flashed up though, double dips on towards the peak with the barrel, but fire from afar is going to keep him in a bad spot here. Zocker. Up for the challenge, Chris, the backline defense, already had to vacate their beautiful shack home. You know, cheap cost to keep that bad boy running. But Ibby's the one making this trick here for the Wildcats now. The position shifted, the move comes in. Braxico, new angle, new kill. Nice work towards Lemon. Falls away from it now. Needs some support here, but keeps doing damage. Docker's dead, and it's not over just yet. Braxico actually took down Zocker. It's a bit of a fumble as Chris now falls. It's going to be just Braxico flushing on one. Didn't see the next. So, a uh, bit of an issue there. Well, that went down. Uber actually fell victim to Team Liquid. So, they transitioned further in towards the middle of the circle. Try and line themselves up for the next one. It looks like FaZe didn't get ahead of the game fast. And by doing so, Uber got caught out in the open. That circle has actually hard shifted now. There's been a few times where we've seen the fights that unfold. And it's in and around that roadside. We've not actually seen one so high up thus yet. This gives TSM a bit of time to play with. That's just creeping and crawling. Switch onto a different fight altogether. As Omicron get noted. First player goes down. Second one to follow. Vasku and Paige. Paige eliminated completely. No casualties on the side of Blaze just yet. Unfortunately, it comes down to T-Bone. He's got to run the dungeon gauntlet. But it's going to be difficult. So many teams in front of him. Oh, that just went from bad to worse. Well never heard that musical um but there he is he's made it in it's not great it's not what you want but you might be able to jump a couple of places here keeping in mind this circle will probably cause a loss of life for a great deal of the southern teams because they're, it's literally just a ridge line and right now i guess phase are the gatekeepers of it and that's why you're seeing ibi die uh clip focusing towards 80 to try and alleviate the pressure but fuzz face is popping off he's just taken down two of them so uh, it looks like liquid won't be able to leave that compound unless a bit of a miracle happens for them Lazar waiting very patiently. Mexi's helping out, though. That's maybe the miracle they need. Miracle Mexi when you need it. Call upon him, upon him and he'll arrive. Gustav now the only one standing is Lazar. Does well towards BSD. Control onto a drop chill would be everything he wants, but it can't be. Now, nice play coming out oh, from wow. Liquid. I doubted them. I thought they were done for, but actually they've recovered well. And Clip Same. could be picked up, maybe. I'm not sure how much time they have on the revive. There you go. He's back on his feet. They've done it. They made it out of the south. This is a hardy, hardy liquid here. They are fighting a big game. But this could be the battle for who gets the best position on the circle. TSM and Tornado Energy. Yeah, that's a huge win. Like, to make it out of where they were down in the bevel. Uh, I, I don't know what went wrong for FaZe Clan. They had the height advantage and they had the line of sight. They had everything going for them. Whether or not they just decided to 
Hook the wrong way at the wrong time. Fendalos does just do that and ends up losing his life. Rupture going down as well to Tixu in the kill feed. So ends continuing even with the small amount of land they have. Doing some damage. Bard sees them in the open, but the problem is for TSM as they open up into this one. Finally, the Molotovs are committed. Try and burn them out the houses, but honestly, they're just staying put, staying stationary. They don't want to give TSM any time whatsoever. No, they don't. And uh, TSM did find Ents, or I say Ents, it's Tigs who's, who's on a bit of an island. And I don't know how the hell Liquid still have this many players up. I am amazed they've survived this long. They have been through a very rough position on this. Now, I don't know how much room they're going to get with Ents watching their cross. That's uh, going to help out TSM, though. In we go. Nade comes in. Quizzy goes down. Stop Nade comes out from example to try and maintain some territory as the smoke wall is deployed. TSM keeping things undercover. Oh, that's a big nade back, though. That cost them a good amount. So now let's see where this takes them. You've got T-Bone oh. waiting patiently. He is going to be the one who could take down the entirety of Liquid. They seem so aware. Excellent flash. They go for the peak together. Perfect play. Oh, he couldn't see anything. They were all just coming around that corner. He was awaiting them. He had some sort of information. They just got hit by a billion flashbangs. Grows with the silence, so it's about to do some serious damage. The example, the last man standing. Molly's in, he's burning away. And I think if the chase for this one down, unless it does it at 10 HP dream. Fix actually moved on to ends as well. Let's just make note of that. Fix up Digger in, doing a fair amount of damage himself. Example will not go down without a fight. TSM is down one man. He is forced to get the stick. Uh, excuse me, stick the res. Miracle, very little HP, so you'll hear the... Oh, they got him on the cross. Yes, they have. One, two, thank you. Ten kills. And somehow, TSM's still alive and kicking. All four players up, but nothing goes more on the side of Team Liquid. You mentioned okay. it. Like, to get out How of the position they that they were in, with all four players standing, is just phenomenal. Oh, I don't get it. Okay, can we get on board with Liquid and maybe TSM? I want to see how many kills they're getting here, because they have four squads up. Now, this is what a sick ending we've got here. So who engages with who first? You're hoping that the Northern Lights start to kick off and make some noise against TSM. The problem is, is for me, Deep and Batulin's like, eventually there huh. could be a point where they just say, okay, oh, time to sweep. Oh, Iro, that shot was filthy. Clip just got two tapped. That is sick work from Iro, and that's going to encourage Northern Lights to maybe re-aggress a little. They know that there's weakness here, and Liquid probably have the worst position in the circle. They are not in a good spot here. Northern Lights are keeping them humble by posturing with their three players to this position, but it puts so much value and weight on Perfectix, right? He's the one who has to basically keep back the entirety of TSM, who just banged out some shots. Look at these boys. Ooh, no helmets and knock or two here and there. Oh, good lord. And now, let's see what they do with this, because... <laughs> It's, it's literally like Northern Lights, you know, looking around the, the giant. And, oh, wait. How did Clem just die? Did he? What? I actually don't understand that. I thought he was being Secondary rezzed. Knock. Kind of interesting. Yeah. I, I don't know. I thought someone was on that. Maybe not. But now it's apparently go time. Maybe they had to keep moving and it finally revealed the two lins. But where's TSM? You know they're wanting in on this. Fex is going to go. And he is a monster. Throws it to hand, no barrel, so who knows? But Nade comes in, Deep's ready for this. That lands, it's good. It's very good for one. Mexi's down, another Nade comes in. Here's Fex, though, flashed up. Oh, that's good work. Deep's going to get the most of the kills here, but now it's TSM up against Northern Lights. But Tulin's is looking worse for wear, but Vaughn's about Fectix. It's looking like Ooh. TSM are back, boys. We've got a game from them. 15 kills. What a goddamn good performance.